Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to some more Ghost of a Tale Early Access gameplay, continuing from where we left off. Well, actually I got back to where I was before I died. I have actually increased the game volume a bit because it did seem a little bit low on my end, um, so hopefully it's a bit better now. So we can have a better look around here. I went ahead and picked up the, uh, what were they actually? There we go, grease jars. There was two over here, so I picked those up. So let's have a closer look around. There's quite a lot of sticks in here. May as well max them out. Oh, thief boots. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and equip those then. They look cool. Yeah, that's quite hard to read actually. So I'll just leave it on screen for you guys to uh, pause the video and read it yourselves. Okay, so basically So how do we get that down? Can we like throw something maybe? I don't know. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get some oil. Although I'm not sure actually. Are we actually getting any? I don't know. Pirate's belt as well. Damn, I'm finding a lot of costume pieces at the moment. Looking more dapper now. If I do say so myself. I'm not sure if this is the way I want to go because I have actually got um, a candle now. If I just scroll through. Oh, I've got a lantern as well. So I might be able to access that place. Remember on the first episode that was pretty dark. I think I just, I just ran in here for no reason. I thought he spotted me. I guess he didn't. Let's be safe and sorry. Let's try not to die on this episode. <laughs> oh God. Right, let's have a little save here. I am going to save more regular. I mean, there's me on the last episode saying, make sure you save regular. And I did not do that. <laughs> and then when I died, I, I was all the way back at the frog after we gave him the uh, bottle of booze. So I don't want a repeat of that. How am I going to get past this guy? I might have to put some grease on the floor, you know. I'll wait till he goes around the corner and then I'll put some grease on the floor and then hopefully he'll run into it and fall over and then I can just get past him that way. Ooh. Just 
just wait here for a second. Come on, Mr. Rat. Can you outsmart me? Don't think so. Tell you what, I do need to get a map. Is it down here? I'm trying to remember where it is. I apologise. There's going to be backtracking on this game. It's further back, isn't it? I think I remember where it is now. So basically, the key to the grease is to aim down. Isn't it over here? Let there be light! Ah, oh, after all that, I need another key! No way. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Well, at least I showed you guys that we can't access that door just yet. I think by now the other guy will have come out of this. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh my god, that was so close. Literally turn in the corner. I think when I get more confident with this game, I will jump out of the box and sneak away, but I'm not going to do it now. No way, Jose. Go on, off you go, Mr. Rat. Okay, so back to where we were. The lighting in this game is just fantastic. Log. Got some money. Some moolah. That's not good. See me, has he? He's coming all the way up here. That surprises me. Because the other rat's body isn't down there. It's the same rat, isn't it? 
Tell you what, being in a barrel makes it even more tense when you're hiding because you have such a small area of vision. Have I basically lost my opportunity here because I took too long and now he's awake? Probably what I want to do is throw some grease down there and then lure him over and get past him that way. Does he not have something for me? Whoa! Well, that went okay. Right, I'll wait in here until he buggers off. We got there in the end. I might end up cutting out some of that video just because we ended up in this loop of, yeah, <laughs> them seeing me and me having to hide in that barrel. And when he buggers off back the other way, I can go past. And that would be lovely. I'm running out of items now. <laughs> like sticks and bottles and stuff. I'd like some more grease because my aiming is awful on this game and uh, yeah grease is the easiest because you just throw it at the floor make sure it's in their path and then they slip over. Job done. Really? He's just gonna walk back into here? How am I supposed to get past him then? Am I supposed to jump out when he goes past and sneak away? Freaking tense, guys. Okay, he doesn't. I don't think he actually comes around this corner normally, so we should be okay now. Nothing here. Empty. Oil is spilled up. Yeah! When you possess a map of your current location, you can hold down the LB to look at the map. So... Aha! That's handy, isn't it? So again, feel free to pause the video if you want to read this in more detail. Almost missed that one. I'm wondering if in the in the full game the sleeping allows you to replenish health without eating, maybe, I don't know. Right, we need this store because there's some keys over there. Yes, we've got the master key! Which means we can open up the other doors, which is awesome. This actually leads to outside. I'm not sure if I want to do this yet though. What 
is that noise? Don't know if you guys can hear that, but that doesn't sound normal. That sounds like a glitch noise to me. I am indeed! You've got a keen eye, sir. So, Florin is the official coinage. searching for my wife have you seen her it'll cost two florins it's worth it what the hell seriously <laughs> why did i have to pay two florins for that useless piece of information Eight florins and I'll tell you what I know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to pay you now. Two florins to basically say she's not here. <laughs> it's Rolo. Rolo the rat. Okay, one of his hammers has gone missing. Can't prove it, but I'd be surprised if those two thieving mice, who we haven't met yet, in the holding cells knew nothing about it. Okay, so we need to go and speak to these mice. Seriously. So basically for information he wants to charge ridiculous prices. He is literally a rat. <laughs> so essentially... If you're struggling to find certain things, you can pay the guy and he'll tell you where they are. Let's hope that his information is actually decent rather than the first time we paid him and it was useless. Maybe it's hit and miss. Sometimes he's helpful and sometimes he's not. Yes, grease jar! Seems to be a lot of rats around here, guys, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Oops. Right, I think I'm going to go ahead and save it here, guys, and stop this episode. On the next episode, obviously, we shall be continuing on from where we left off. Let me know your thoughts and impressions of the game so far. Are you interested in buying it or not? Let me know. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. 
Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.